We're here today to play in support of the locked out musicians of the Minnesota Orchestra. And we're here to kind of make a statement because Richard Davis, the CEO of U.S. Bank here, it acts on the board of the Minnesota Orchestra and he has been holding up negotiations and causing us to lose some of our most important musicians, teachers, and most importantly, I'd say, inspirations. We have a world-class orchestra, a Grammy-nominated orchestra, and it's really heartbreaking for young musicians to see them struggling and not being able to perform. We're not going to let the lockout silence us, and we're still here to play and make music. And Minnesota is a prime place for the arts. I don't think we can afford the loss of an internationally acclaimed symphony orchestra. The Minnesota Orchestra has been talked about all around the globe. They've been invited to play at Carnegie Hall and the BBC proms, and they're a really good index of how important and special a city is, I think. <laughs> 